The Perfect Tree Many years ago, in Bethlehem, there was a very special family. This wasn't just any family, it was the family where Jesus would be born. And this family had a story that went way, way back. It began with a man named Abraham. God made a big promise to Abraham. God said he would have a huge family, like the stars in the sky, and they would be blessed. Over time, this family grew, and some amazing people were part of it. There was King David, a young shepherd boy who became a great king. He loved God with all his heart. And guess what? God promised David that one of his descendants would be a special king who would reign forever. That was a promise about Jesus. But Jesus' family wasn't just kings. There were unexpected people too. Rahab, lived in Jericho, a city that would be destroyed. But because she trusted God, she became part of Jesus' family tree. Then there was Ruth, who came from a different land but chose to follow God. She was kind and became the great-grandmother of King David. Jesus' family tree had all kinds of people. Some were royal, but most were regular people. Some had impressive stories, and others had humble beginnings. But each person was chosen by God for a reason. And then, at the perfect time, in a little town called Bethlehem, from this special family, Jesus was born. The one God had promised was finally here. But here's the really exciting part for us. Jesus wants us to be part of his family. It doesn't matter where we come from or what our story is. Jesus invites us into God's family, making every one of us special in his eyes. When we think of families, branches, and trees, it's important to remember Jesus' family tree and that we can all be part of God's family through him.